Earlier this week, I was having a discussion about the Act 4 of Macbeth. There was an argument that it's really not as important as the other acts because it's mostly a lot of exposition, and it always comes after the point of no return in the book. However, there is an element of this act that I find very important to the story, and also how other stories use it. The act begins with, with Macbeth getting another vision from the witches about things to beware of, and although this section is witty and clever to set up the rest of Macbeth's story, it is not very important for this video. The section I want to talk about is scene 2 and 3. This is when Macduff and Ross try to convince Malcolm to go back to Scotland to get back the throne from Macbeth. They both practically know by now that Macbeth is the reason Duncan died. They speak together of how the story could have gone. They describe a country that could have been great if Macbeth had not done what he did. This is almost a way of Shakespeare telling the audience that it's too late for our character and that perhaps their fates are set in the moment. Fate is another interesting topic to talk about when discussing Macbeth because of the witches' prophecies. Is what they say a method of setting in stone what will happen to the characters, or is it truly because of the characters' decisions in the end? Season 2 of Loki, in my opinion, vastly different from season 1, it goes through the story of time travel and changing the future in a place where time doesn't exist. Loki continues to go back in time after seeing the end result of his actions. He tries for an actual millennia to attempt to change the results, however, nothing ever changes. He can't change his friend's fate, but he can change his own. In the end, he makes his own prophecy that he calls his glorious purpose that was given to him. Macbeth and Loki deal with the concept of fate very similarly, although it seems different because of how it plays out in the both of them. Act 5, Tragic Endings Act 5 ends with, with Macbeth's death at the hands of Macduff, just as the witch's prophecy had told him it would. He let his greed for power consume him and lost everything in the process of it, including his wife, his friends, and his kingdom. In each of these stories, our hero is eventually brought down because of their tragic flaw. V, in their greed and want to be a Night City legend, Arthur perhaps cared too much for his own good, trying to make up how much pain he's caused in the past. Loki because of his purpose he was given, and the fate he knows he must endure. Each of these stories has an act 1-5, through five, and I hope it was interesting to see how they parallel each other despite all being quite different in the stories themselves. Shakespeare's work in tragedies was some of the most influential on most of modern writing. Creating a good tragedy is not an easy task, and his works paved the way for anyone in the future to follow after. All of these stories end the same, with death and despair. However, this does not make them bad endings, or sad ones at that. It makes you reflect on the question about life that are presented and how one can learn to not let your fate end in tragedy.